Hey, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can use your existing smart home devices to get out of bed less tired and more energized. So I've always had issues getting out of bed and currently I'm working at home so there's very little incentive for me to get out of bed. I would hit the snooze button and sleep for much longer and when I finally got out of bed I would feel really groggy and really tired. Finally, I found something that is effective which may work for you. The key is automation and tricking your body that it's time to get out of bed. The three components are sound, heat and light. So how do you do all of this? Well, you can go out and buy an out-of-the-box solution such as the Philips Wake Up Light, but that's another gadget in your room and it's pretty expensive. Why not use your existing or, or invest in some smart bulbs, thereby giving you dual utility. You have smart bulbs, the convenience of that, and you have a wake up light. So let's talk about sound. Sound may seem obvious, but it can be very scarring to your cognitive function. With repetition, your brain can be hardwired to naturally associate certain sounds to physical pain. By playing the same screeching alarm every morning, your brain becomes naturally sensitive to this sound in a negative manner, which thereby increases your stress, cortisol, and making it really hard for you to get out of bed. By having random music play and increase in volume slowly over time, your brain is tricked into hearing something new every morning. I find that I wake up curious thinking, what is that sound? And most importantly is that I'm not in pain. I believe this stimulation causes your brain activity to increase, which helps you get out of bed. Now, as for going to sleep, I'll use my Google Home to play some white noise for about an hour if I have some really noisy Airbnb partying guests. Play white noise for an hour. Here's the sound of white noise. So to set up this gradual music for your alarm, I use an app called Sleep as Android, and I really like this app. So if I want to set a gradual alarm, I can tap this alarm, and then we can set the ringtone. And what I want to do is set it to the radio. So there's all types of radios. Um, I like the underground 80s because it sounds kind of weird. Then next, we want to do is have it gently increase over time. So we could say gentle volume increase, and I set it to nine minutes. So next on our list is heat. So I automated my thermostat to cool down my house when I fall asleep. And when I wake up, it increases the temperature. Our bodies have naturally evolved to respond to these temperature cues which help us go to sleep or wake up respectively. So there are two ways you can automate your thermostat. One is use a static schedule featured in your thermostat to set the temperature when you go to sleep and when you wake up. That doesn't always work if you fall asleep and wake up at different times. So I prefer the second method, which is actually using the Sleep as Android app. And that app will let you send messages to a service that will trigger your thermostat to set to an appropriate temperature. We'll talk about how we set that up in the tutorial session. Now for the third one is light. And light is the most important one, I believe. It's a game changer for me. Even with sound and heat, I find that I was still hitting the snooze button and you know, still going to sleep. But something about having the light fully blazing in your, in your room really gets me out of bed. It's kind of similar to having a bucket of water thrown in your head in the morning. I'm using LifeX smart bulbs and they're great except when sometimes they disconnect. It's preferable you buy the more expensive ones as they're the brightest LED bulbs at 1100 lumens. Yes, color customization is a party trick, but being able to set your light's temperature is a key feature. Similar to heat, our bodies have evolved to respond to different light temperature. Setting your, your light to a colder blue temperature will emulate natural sunlight to get you out of bed. And warmer red tones will help you maintain melatonin production at night, an important hormone that helps us sleep. First of all, in the evening, I really recommend changing all your light sources to a warmer temperature, such as 3000 Kelvin. You know, change your iPad, change your phones, change your television, um, your smart bulbs to a warmer temperature. If you can't do that, I recommend investing in some of these. This will block the blue light. And blue light is pretty bad for you because it actually prevents the production of melatonin. And melatonin is obviously used to help you fall asleep. So, you know, using these protective measures will help you get a better sleep. Okay, so for waking up with lights, my bedroom is really far away from any windows. And if I did have windows, naturally I would have curtains. So if I woke up, I would have to open the curtains or turn on the lights manually. And when I'm really tired and groggy, that's the last thing I'm thinking about. So the key is automation. Making your smart bulbs turn on the lights when the alarm goes off. I'll show you how you can set that up in this tutorial. Now for this tutorial, I'll assume that you have some smart bulbs, maybe a smart thermostat, although that's unnecessary. 
and you'll need to register for If This Then That, which is a third party service that lets you integrate all these devices. And I will assume that you have Android and the app is free to download. It's called Sleep as Android. For iOS users, I'm really sorry. Um, let me know down below in the comments if there's an equivalent app that does all this. Okay, so let's enter the app. Right now I have the widget and you can see my alarm is set for 1140 AM. I'm gonna tap and open that. And then we simply want to go into the settings and then we scroll down to advanced under integrations. We tap this, then we go to services. And then here we want to enable if, so let's just enable it right now. And then here we'll need to retrieve our um, key from if, which we'll need to actually just sign in, simply sign in. And then there you go, if this create uh, connected. So if this and that, and we can see our key and then at the top right, we can just tap this and this will open the help section. And there's not much to know here. All you gotta do is understand that these are the events that can be sent from the Sleep as Android app. And the ones that we care about is alarm start, alarm dismiss, and time to bed alert. So this is the notification. Now, when I'm referring to the notification, I'm referring to bedtime notification. We can set a notification that tells us when to go to sleep. Okay, so next one, we want to register with if. So download the app. The app is really good. You can do this on the desktop, but I'm just gonna do this on the app. Now next, we wanna go into my applets. And you can see I already have quite a few applets here. Like for example, if maker event, alarm, alert, dismiss, then turn on the lights. So when I dismiss the alarm from sleep as Android, the lights will turn on. When the alarm starts, um, so when the alarm is actually goes off, we'll set the we'll set the thermostat to a certain temperature. So these are really easy to set up. All we got to do is hit the plus and say if this. So let's select the service. Now in the case of Sleep as Android, we want to do web web hooks, and then say we'll receive a web hook, and then we'll put the event name. So we'll paste it in here and just get rid of this extra white space. So when the alarm starts, we're gonna create a trigger and then we're gonna cause an event. So for example, we can say, we want the lights to turn on. Here we can say, turn lights on. And what we can do is we can say all the lights or we can have a specific light. And I recommend having it over a very gradual. So I, I prefer 10 minutes. And then it's important to set the temperature to a uh, blue color to simulate actual uh, sunlight. So we can say daylight and then the brightness, keep it at hundred percent. And then you create the action. And what this do, will do is now that when sleep as Android triggers the event, this action will be turned on. Let's go back and let's actually choose another one. Another one we can do is nest. So we can set a temperature for, let's say, for example, we want it to be really hot when the alarm turns on. So there you go. You can create the action. Just a really quick side mention, I noticed that some people had really great success using smartwatches or fitness trackers to get out of bed. By setting just the vibration alarm, it felt like a gentle nudge and it was a lot easier to get out of bed. For me, this personally did not work because I would simply hit the snooze button every time and that prevented me from getting out of bed. I hope this video inspired you to leverage your existing smart home devices to automate your heat, sound, and light to get you out of bed most efficiently. Let me know in the comments down below if this video helped you at all. And please feel free to share any tricks and tips around home automation that you may have. That's all for now. See you in the next video. Spin down below. Set of existing. Current set. Your ex Very annoying. It might be. That's not good.